this poem. We met uh, about a week ago, and I told her I was working on a project, a new project, a book of poems. And uh, I just shared the poem with her because I wanted her to partner with me on this project. And uh, when uh, she read the poem, she said to me, you're reading that uh, the night of our event. And I said, really? She said, yeah. <laughs> so uh, the poem is titled Cuffed, Uncuffed. And uh, we're hoping to use it as the feature poem for our book. Nice. Cuffed, uncuffed. Know that you are not alone. Somewhere out there, someone feels the same as if you're a clone. Fear, sadness, despair. The overwhelming anxiety and confusion restricts your air. We have all been cuffed in life, by life. Physically, psychologically, bound by your own mind, or detained and confined. Whether by your thoughts, feelings, emotions, or anxieties, or the steel bars of a penitentiary. By addiction or affliction, or perhaps an abusive relationship. Hesitant to speak for fear of being categorized as weak. Scared, panicked unsure, torn, conflicted, insecure. We are guided by social norms and rules which steer us away from the so-called taboos. Made to believe that bi is bad, bipolar or bisexual, they must be mad. Some people debate human sexuality and nature while talking like a preacher. They pass judgment on others based on ignorance, regardless of the consequence. Feel free to come out, I say. I'll have your back every day. For some, nature requires an amender due to missing on their true gender. We have all been cut. For many, the screams and cries for relief are internal, resonating in one's head, feeling as if it's going to burst. Regardless of how you are cuffed, to be liberated, you must believe and trust. Some may find trust in their faith. Some may find trust in others. It's not for me to say, because above all else, you must first trust yourself. Thank you.